الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر get up at uh, 10 to 4 obviously get washed get changed straight out drive to the gym listen to the Quran great way to start the day I always felt I was British because of the boxers that were produced at the time, the likes of Frank Bruno, the likes of Nigel Byrne, Chris Eubank, and do you think, yeah, yeah, I'm British. I'm British now, yeah, because I can identify with these guys. They're darker than me, they speak the same as I do, and we have the same passion in sport. But then you'd always get someone who would always call you a packy, or something like that, and then that really hurt your feelings. You're trying to be British, you feel British, and all of a sudden someone pulls you down again. So I walk into a room full of children, and they see this guy with a big beard, and they think, whoa, he's going to take our PE lesson. What can he teach us? And then I know exactly what they're thinking. They're not concentrating on, on anything that I say. They're solely looking at the beard. Yeah, and that is an excellent opportunity for me to, first of all, talk about the beard, and second of all, make them feel more comfortable in that environment. All right, stop him coming at you, okay? Come here. Oh, oh. I was working in a local school. It was the first day going into the school, and uh, a young girl, she walked past me and she swore at me and said, uh, it's, it's Osama Bin Laden, and she, she gave me the finger, <laughs> which was I, was, I was quite shocked. But, you know, then I thought to myself, I thought, look, she's you know, 13, 14 years old. Before the summer's out, I'm gonna befriend her, and, and I'm gonna speak to her, and show her that, you know, Muslims are not what are always portrayed out to be in the media. I was boxing a guy, I can't remember his name, but he was 27 years old. I was 18. I remember being very excited about it. I get to the venue, get weighed in and everything's fine. And then they shout my name to get to the ring. On the way to the ring, there's crowds of people. The mood is changed. They start flicking beer at me. And they, they had nooses, like the, the ties as nooses, saying, hang the packy. The referee, came to the center of the ring and he took the mic and he said there's two colors in this boxing ring red and blue and that boosted me up and that um, that gave me the drive to go and give it a go that was the thing that I thought back to and thought that's never ever going to happen to anyone who comes in at our club everyone's going to be accepted regardless of their ability regardless of their color or creed regardless of their status everyone is going to be welcome to this boxing club Sister, Mr. Love, 260 pounds, my sister there. One of the five pillars of Islam is zakat, and that is giving charity. So in terms of giving or donating or giving your time as a volunteer is hugely important in Islam. You make those sacrifices for the sake of Allah. And that's what it's all about at the end of the day, is helping as many people as possible. I'm not here to push my views on anyone. 
I'm not here to antagonize or anger anyone. I'm just here as a part of the community. The teachings of Islam are to stay away from extremism on both sides, not to stray too far either side and take that middle path. And that middle path is something that the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, has spoken about time and time again. The middle path in your life, in your um, family life, uh, in your religion. Take the middle path. Being a Muslim is all about being a part of the community. Get off your chest. Put the words right out of my mouth.